Howdy guys, I'm Link here and welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade X where last time we completed a few more normal missions including the Fashionista where we helped uh, some Monon, uh, well a Monon and a human come up with a new perfume line that will hopefully be sold to Monon. Um, I don't have my pop filter set up right now because it messes with the uh, microphone. But if you heard a pop just there, I apologize. I t turned towards the microphone right as it made a popping sound in my mouth, and yeah. Sorry about that. I should really put that, I should really fix that pop filter. Anyways, we are here in the uh, Armory Alley to um invest in Orphean Technologies, drop off some of the Meranium we found, uh, and hopefully get them up to level three. All right, there we go. We unlocked the Heavyware series. All right, and now what do you say we get Sakurapa Industries up as close as we can? So that'll be 6,600 and five. Should do it. There we go. Level four. All products upgraded. Ah, uh, next up is Granada Group. I guess just dump the rest of our Meranium. All right, now let's head off to the commercial district where we'll do our first affinity mission uh, of the week. I believe this is the start of the week. Um, I've kind of lost track of the ep of what episode I'm on because just because I've done so many. If I'm right, this is episode 55, but I don't know at this point. All right, you may notice I've actually dropped Lau for my party. That's because he's restricted from this next affinity mission. That's crazy. All right, so today, oh crap, I need Elma and Lin. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back with Elma and Lin in the party. So let's take on the matchmaker. Hey, look who's here. Thanks again for the help last time. Hmm? Huh? When did you work with Elma's team? Uh, when a certain someone decided to just wander off and leave us high and dry? Oh yeah? Well, I hope whoever it was got chewed out good. Looks like I owe you one, Elma. Order something if you like. My treat. Really? Oh, Tatsu filled to bursting with food and joy. Lau is good and generous friend. You tubby little... I said order something, not everything. It's okay, Lau. Next meal, it'll be Tatsu's turn. So, Shingo, you gonna say something? Go ahead and ask. I'm sure these ladies will give you better advice than I can. Having trouble with something? Oh, uh, I... it's not. Ooh, I know. Shingo has a crush on someone. Wait, what? How'd you know? Oh, come on. Seriously? Yeah, it seems pretty obvious. I know, right? He's a total open book. I get that a lot. If you're done making the poor man sweat, why don't you hear him out? But look, if this is about winning a girl's heart, Lau is probably the guy you want to ask. He knows you a lot better than we do since you work together and all. Plus, he was married, so he can... Sorry, Shingo. I should get going. Uh, right. Of course, sir. Good luck. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Th thank you, sir. Uh, yeah. We don't really talk about Lao's family. Oh my gosh. I didn't mean to... Oh, you can basically see her about to cry. Oh god, I feel so bad for her. Hey... Hey, Lin, look, I'm gonna eat Tatsu. Yeah, I don't really feel like smiling at the moment. He wasn't angry, Lin. You heard him wish Shingo luck. Yes, yes! Angry loud, not talk like that. Thanks, guys. Yeah, so, if you don't mind, I really do need some advice on this. I'm at the end of my rope. Sure. Whatever we can do to help. All right, and time to begin the matchmaker. Yeah. 
All right then, we need to head to North Founders Street in the commercial district. Why? Wait, I'm sorry, I spaced out for a moment. I was helping someone with uh, building their computer. Uh, so I guess we're just meeting him up to see the people he's talking about? Great. So that's her, huh? And you say her name's Dorothy? She's beautiful. Oh, gosh. Thanks. Not quite sure what you're taking credit for there, but okay. Tatsu will go and ask Pretty Lady for her favorite food. You stay put, you. Man, she's too beautiful. She'll never go for a schlub like me. If only I could make her happy somehow. Um? Honestly, a present just sounds like you're trying to buy her love. I would just be honest and ask her out on a date. Ooh, now we're talking. What? Just out of the blue? No way! Come on, you guys. The point isn't to send the poor woman running. All right, maybe that's a little strong. How about just asking her to dinner? Well, that's safer. Is it too safe? If the way she's dressed now is any indication, she's obviously into fashion. Why not give her a little accessory when you ask her out? A bracelet or something? Hey, that'll make a great impression! All right, I'll give it a try. Uh, but where am I supposed to find nice jewelry here on Mira? Tatsu have an idea. Cowardly friend should get pretty lady a shiny rock. That how Tatsu dead upon win the heart of Mama Pan. Hey, not bad. You're kinda smart for a nope on. Meh, says friend who need whole team to ask out girl. What does friend think of this? Oh, that's lovely. It no pun matchmaking stone. Super valuable. Worth more than almost any food. Sounds like a winner to me. Let's go track one down. We'll need someone to set it in a bracelet once we've found it. There's a jewelry shop in the commercial district. We can try bringing it there. Oh, I am loving this idea. Okay, do we already have the rock? Wait, what? What's the rock we needed? Is it a Noka Mirror Stone? Because I find a lot of those. Oh, Enduron Lead. I wonder where I found those. Oh, from Frontier Nav. So you mine them up. Okay, got it. Then let's head over to the jewelry shop. Have you heard? Listen. Listen. Oh my god, so many Enduron Leads. <laughs> We're set. Now this is a stunning specimen. It better be, considering what we had to go through to get it. So, uh, how much to put that in a bracelet? Sorry, not gonna happen. What? Why not? I tested its hardness. That rock puts even diamonds to shame. Seriously? I'd really like to help, but my tools just can't handle it. Sorry. After we went to all that trouble. I never imagined it couldn't be done. Just because our tech can't handle it doesn't make it impossible. I met a man on Craftsman a while back who works with rare minerals. He's not cheap, but he's good. Why don't I introduce you? Sir, that would be amazing. Um, Lau? About before. I know you've been working hard to help out one of my crew, Lin. Thank you. I appreciate it. Of course. How about letting me join the fun from here? Heck yeah! God, this affinity mission is just making me smile. I'm really liking this so far. Alright. So let's go meet up with uh, Jeshero on the Manan ship. Where are you at?
And when the hell is the port side of the ship gonna open? Not that side. That side, when's that side gonna open? All right, Jashero, are you upper or lower floor? There you are. So how's it look? It's tricky, you know. Very, very tricky. But nothing is impossible for the right price. Eh, so long as it's high enough. Uh, how much are we talking? Pizza is truly the greatest currency. <laughs> All right, let's go buy our some pizza. Uh, here we go. West Melville Street. Army Pizza's right there. Hi. All right, here we go. Where can I order ten pizzas? There you are, pal. Welcome to Army Pizza, you here for a pie? What's that, you need 10 delivered ASAP? No sweat, for just 10,000 credits, we'll send your packing hot pizzas anywhere in NLA. That sounds fair. These are headed out to Jashero's place, yeah? We'll have them there before the cheese begins to cool. So, okay, judging from that price, 100, uh, no, 10,000 for 10 pizzas, that'd be, a thousand per pizza, and I'd say a pizza would be about ten dollars. So a hundred credits to a dollar? A credit's one penny. A credit's a yen. Of course, it's a Japanese game. Credit, their currency is always equal to a yen. It's just, I don't know, makes the prices make more sense, but then they're, they're incredibly inflated when they translate to the US and other, uh, other countries. All right, let's go get that stone set into a bracelet. Fascinating, right? Hmm. Hello, Jashero. Cool. Yes? Hey, I got your hot pizza deposit, you know. My whole family shrieked with happiness. Your family, huh? So you'll make the bracelet then? gonna love this it's gorgeous thank you all so much I'm going to go ask her out right now I'm glad that worked out I really hope she says yes after all this should we go see you know it another kick to Lao ow poor guy oh that just that's painful to watch every time that happens, and it's happening repeatedly, it seems. All right, then. Let's go watch him give the gift to Dorothy. Hopefully this goes well. Sorry. Looks like that went well. Everything go according to Tatsu plan. Like they say, even a broken clock. Never really saw the point in mim relationships. But hey, I guess if it makes him happy. Hmm? Well, what do you mean? Uh, nothing. Just talking to myself. I mean, they do have real bodies waiting for them on the, uh... Life hold core. Once they get their real bodies back, they could go out in those from from then on. But good to know it went well. Also, we learned afterburner. 
And segment clear. Alrighty then. Let's hop up to the mod on ship. And I remember there was a quest I saw there in the last episode that I want to take on. So we can actually get some completion on the mod on ship because right now it's at 0%. Here we are. I thank you for your help in Noctulum, human. Without you, we would not have reached NLA. I was just discussing plans for the future with my people. Though discussing plans is an inaccurate and overly human description of our action. We ORF are not susceptible to differences in opinion. This activity is merely a final verification for the sake of formality. Very true, we are the servants of the OVA. Disagreement is a practical impossibility. Um? I'm curious. So it sounds like they're a bit of a hive mind. So I guess that answers that, but what's the OVA? Teach me about your people. The OVA is our reason for existence and the incontrovertible will that guides us. It is peace itself to my kind and also the thread that links us together. In truth, it is somewhat difficult to express in words, but we feel it quite viscerally within us. Tell me, Kun Luarb, where are Sun Seleg and Kun Luarb? Gathering, here, uh, gathering them here is your responsibility as our leader. I did not see Sun Seleg here, so I sent Kon Luarb out to, uh, out to meet him. Yet the probability of his um, him arriving tardy was a scant 6.4%. I hope no trouble has befallen him. Kun Luarb, we have a problem. I was searching for Sun Seleg and along the way found evidence of a Definian infiltration here in NLA. Definians? Are they why Sun Seleg has not arrived? Um? Who are the Definians? They are a covert force working under the ganglion. Their ability to assume the forms of other creatures uh, makes them excellently suited for infiltration missions. Oh shit, that's not good. It would be a rather simple matter, for instance, for one of their number to take the guise of a human and enter the city. If they have entered NLN and Sun Seleg is missing, it is premature to draw conclusions, but he may well be in serious danger. Human Blade, will you accept a formal request to locate Sun Seleg? Please lend us your strength. If the Definians are involved, it is meaning, uh, meaningless to search for him ourselves. Only death would await us. Alright, let's find him. We have an agreement then. Kon Luar, please share all pertinent information you have with this human. I last saw Sun Seleg on the, re on the residential district elevator. I watched him take it up on his way to the Manan ship, then return to the residential district myself. Therefore, a witness should have been present when, uh, witnesses should have been present wherever he went from there. As a human yourself, gathering testimony from human residents should be a simple task. Please find where he has taken as quickly as possible. Alright, then we'll start from the elevator and work our way out around Blade Tower. Alright, then. Any info we can find, anybody at all. I'm barely seeing anyone even around here. What the hell? Oh, here we go. Trouble. Okay, through the east gate. Then we will head out there ourselves and go locate him. Um. So out to the east gate we go. And yes, I do believe it is bug napping. That is actually an awesome way to put it, because they are giant bugs. Oh, here we go. What is that? Uh, still a fuel. Uh, still a vehicle before it can be refueled. No further than the entrance to Oblivia. All right, let's go report our findings then. And we'll start a search party from here to Oblivia. One, two, three, four. 
All right, good news I found out where they uh, where they might be. Bad news is they were kidnapped. Have you learned anything of Soon Leg's whereabouts? Oblivia? Hmm, troubling news. But it is good fortune he was not killed on the spot. That seems to indicate that they feel we are of enough use to merit keeping alive. There may still be time to save Soon Leg. We will make preparations to travel to Oblivia at once. It is best we hurry, the Oval is quite restless. I believe this to be a sign of larger things to come. You are especially att attuned to the Ova's nuanced activity. Your concerns certainly merit consideration. I request that you travel on ahead and aid Soon Leg however you can. Whatever his condition, we will use the extent of our knowledge to see him brought home safely, provided he is alive. The Finians possess considerable combat prowess, but I am confident you will be victorious. Now please make for Oblivion and aid Soon Leg. Ah, uh, maybe I should have... Maybe I should have offered to go with them. Though I feel they would have uh, just said, hey, no, you go ahead. And if I'm going ahead, then that means they're, they're going to come up behind me, so any threats I'll have taken care of already. So I think we'll actually be fine this way. Just a little worried that it may have made a bad mistake. However, if we wait too long, we'll lose him, so... This may actually work out. Okay, where is our... There it is. Hello, Skill. Let's get traveling. I don't think they'll let us walk away. Damn it, Gale Arvis. I'm ignoring you. I've got places to be and people to save. So, down this way? And which way are you gonna go? Ah, here we go. Er, why did someone have to come along now? Allow me to deduce your, the reason for your arrival. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, oh, yes, of course. Uh, soon Barak and the others sent you to rescue me. The tables have turned, Definian. Now it is you who is cornered, and with an 89.6% likelihood of your own demise. Quiet, fool, and you, human, come any closer and this one dies. If you want him to live, you will turn and walk away. Oh crap, she has the upper hand because she has a gun on him. How preposterous. Give it the slightest thought, and it's perfectly obvious she can't kill me. She is clearly under orders to take me back alive. What happens then if she were to kill me now? She would be the next to die as punishment for disobeying orders. The Finians are hardly precious to the ganglion. They are expendable pawns the same as my kind. Damn you! It's true, I can't kill you, but I can't make you wish for death once I kill this human. Time to swat down the flies before picking the legs off this insect. Alright, well thanks for the advice, Soonsaleg. I would not have thought of that. Alright, time to take care of a Definian. Our first Definian. She doesn't seem too tough, just level 30? Oh god, you went flying. Goodbye. I'll make sure to leave a dent. And I love how she crashed into the rock. And got her. Segment clear. Okay then. Your strength is almost feral. To think that you were able to completely neutralize any even a Definian. Clearly, we were correct to side with you humans. I hope you'll continue to eradicate all the all who would do harm to us. Of course. Although uh, that is a little hmm. But yeah, you're you're an important ally to us. As long as that doesn't mean turning on our own allies, we'll protect you. Your tone inspires great confidence. You blades are a more, far more skillful pack of assassins than the Definians. In any case, let us hurry back to NLA. We have no time to waste. We must assemble as many of our numbers on this planet as... Uh-oh. You were right. I will die. But I will not go being mocked by insects. I will not go alone.
Ah, my Ova fades. This is death then, but there is so much left to do. No, we were too late. Do not fret, Sunseleg, you live still. I do not have long, but yes. Then let us use Senarapa uh, water to pass your knowledge and will, uh, and will on to the next generation. Kunluarb, this is the last of our Senarapa water. If we use it now, we may find a new source of Senarapa water in time, but as soon as the leg's wisdom is lost, it is gone forever. Use the Senarapa water. Grow the life of soon leg. The miraculous water stirs the Ova to activity and grants continuity to our lives. Bear witness, human, this is the nature of an Orphean. Soonsleg, release your life into the light. Release your L Ova into the light. It is the birth of Tanseleg and Tenseleg. Divided from the life of Sunseleg. Then my name is Tanseleg. And I am Tenseleg. Correct, new children of the Ova. I am pleased we were in time. So you see, human, we do not engage in inefficient animal like reproductive methods. We multiply by fission using the medium of Senarapa water. Such is the power of the Ova. It is not is it not a very marvelous way of existence? That is. That is actually really cool. Many other races have shown an inability to understand. But it seems you humans are a special lot. I am sorry that you do not have Ova of your own. But Kun Luar, what are we to do now that we have used the last of the Senarapa water? Do you think the four of us and our two new kin are enough to survive on this planet? We will return to NLA and make our plans there. With our wisdom and the guidance of the Ova, we will find proper course. I will follow wherever you see fit to lead, uh, lead Kun Luarb. Or rather, I have complete trust in the Ova's urges to place my trust in your judgment. I will return to the city at once. I thank you, human. Though soon Seleg's life was lost, the worst outcome was avoided. I hope you will continue to be the strength of a strengthless people and to aid in the survival and prosperity of the Orf. Well, that was interesting. But so that's how the Orf reproduce. Interesting. All right, then. Let's head back to NLA, then. Wait, wait, I just saw something in Oblivia. Hold on. At the entrance to Oblivia, at Mechanical Level 4, there's white whale debris. Let's see if we can get that and clear out a segment. That would be awesome if we could. Is it that treasure right up ahead? Come on, help me climb up here. Here we go. Alright, I do believe we found it. Time to clear out a segment. All right, and Oblivia has hit 35% completion. Now we will head back to, uh, NLA. Uh, where should we go? Let's head to the commercial district. And it actually looks like we're just about out of time. So, next time on Xenoblade X, let's take on a second, uh, affinity mission. Alright, I will see you guys next time.